everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary. I am so happy you decided to stop by. If you are returning, thank you. If you're new, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, please consider hitting the subscribe button and uh, hit the little bell too. And uh, YouTube should notify you when I upload a new video. So I just want to kind of tell you about my uh, little adventure this morning. I walked up to the post office, which is in the same shopping center where Dollar Tree is, and um, I just was sending out some mail, and then I wanted to go and get my manicure done, and they were closed, or not closed, they hadn't opened yet, they didn't open till 10, and it was 9 o'clock, so I'm like, okay, I'll head over to Dollar Tree, which is just two doors down, and uh, I had three items that I wanted to exchange, so I wandered around, um, went to the book section, straightened up all the books because I'm just trying to waste time. And I'm like, what am I going to get? I mean, there's probably a billion things I can get, but, um, you know, I didn't have anything quite in mind what I needed. Um, they did start putting out a little bit of Christmas stuff. Very little, very little. And I looked, looked over that and I'm like, mm, I really don't need to get anything right now. So I went back to my favorite section and uh, which is the Crafter Square end cap. And I found this um, glass writer is what they're calling it. And it, it says it's good for glass, mirrors, windows, ceramic, metal. So I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. It looks like it'd be in gold. So I picked up that. And then I decided I was going to go ahead and pick up two more packs of this sticker pack with the piano in it. Yep, love it so much. So I left Dollar Tree without spending a dime. Yes, without spending a dime. My dad would say, you get an A. <laughs> so anyway, that was my Dollar Tree trip. And so then I headed down a couple of doors down and they were open so I went and got my manicure and I got purple purple yay love it love it so I keep my nails kind of short because I play guitar and I play keyboards and can't have long nails really so happy happy with this so I want to share with you my pocket letters so um I've done quite a few of them and given away quite a few of them uh, probably about 10 or so. I enjoy doing them. Uh, I would say like 95% of the materials that I use are from Dollar Tree. Surprised? Mm. Uh, so the first one I'm going to show you is a princess theme. So let's see if I can get this all in here without too much glare. So that's the princess theme. So some of the embellishments are on the outside, some on the inside, and I use this five pocket uh, for my pocket letters. They're just easier for me to work with. Um, I do use the smaller ones as well, but I like the I like the five pocket one. They, you just I just have more room to work and decorate and put more stuff on, and then I also put a little either some sort of dangly on it as well uh, to decorate it. This is the envelope also from Dollar Tree that I put it in. So that is the princess theme. Next is the butterfly. So this one decorated with all butterflies. And the ver reverse side. And then this little dangly that I put on the edge was actually a hair clip. And the clip broke, but I was able to repurpose it. So there's that. And here is the envelope. Also, you might recognize those wall stickers from Dollar Tree. So that is the butterfly. Next, mermaid. Mermaid theme one. So this is the mermaid theme one. Uh, 
This one I actually used some seashells, I think right in there. There's a couple of pockets I put real seashells in. It's kind of fun. It gives it quite a bit of dimension. The reverse side. And then the little dangly is um, a keychain from Dollar Tree with the mermaid um, kind of style on it. And then these little dangly things I just added. And then the pocket is, or the envelope is this with the mermaid on it. Mermaid. Next one is New Mexico theme. And... Uh, I got the idea, and I did this in a smaller pocket, but I got the idea because I found a set of playing cards with New Mexico uh, on it. And I thought, oh, that'll be kind of fun. So this one's a little different than those others. So all New Mexico theme. Chilies, pottery, hot air balloons, road runners. Uh, yeah, everything New Mexico. Yep, our hot air international balloon fiesta is coming up in a month. That is massive here, massive. If you've never been, you should consider it. It's a sight. Um, balloons, you know, just kind of float over our house. And uh, when that time comes, maybe I'll take a video of it. And then the little dangly is a key cover cactus. Uh, Okay, so that is the pocket, and the, uh, I just put it in this red envelope, and then I tied a yellow ribbon around it because that's New Mexico colors. So that one is it. The last one I have to show you is patriotic theme, all red, white, and blue. And here I'm back to the five pocket. And then the re reverse side is this. And then I'm going to show you the little dangly a little close. This was kind of fun to find. Um, they're little, well, they're, uh, some are the little beads that are star shaped, but I found these. Let's see if I can show you that. Oh, let me flip that around. This is a button. That's red, white, and blue. And it's a heart shape. It's cute. Very cute. So I put a few of those. Put red, white, and blue bu uh, beads with the stars. That's kind of cute. And then the envelope is blue with USA. Those are my pocket letters. And uh, I'm going to be taking those to the craft fair and craft fairs. <laughs> and hopefully, you know, someone wants them bad enough to purchase them. So, yeah, those are all ready. So, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Um, I will have some more. Uh, I'm not sure when. I'm not sure what. But, you know, stick around and we'll see what comes up next. But you guys go out and have a super day. Um, you know, I do appreciate you spending time with me and until next time, you rock.